Hello and welcome to another installment of World of Sumo News. I'm Mika Grimmer, and let me fill you in on the latest goings-on in sumo as we approach the Kyushu Basho in Fukuoka. Hakiyoi! Yoshikaze's retirement ceremony has been given a date, and it will be held at the Kokugikan on February 5th of next year. Tickets to attend the Danpachiki will be on sale in December. He has taken the elder name Nakamura Oyakata. On October 18th, Sakaigawa Oyakata, Mouth Fukuoka Prefecture's Governor, Saitaro Hattori, Sakaigawa Oyakata said, I'm delighted to be able to hold the November Basho in a rural area, and while there are some nervous about the coronavirus, I hope to have a good Kyusho Basho. Governor Hattori replied, I sincerely hope that the citizens of Fukuoka will be energized, impressed, and courageous. The Kyusho Basho will be held in Fukuoka for the first time in two years since 2020, due to coronavirus restrictions. The number of spectators is limited to less than 4,000, which is about half the capacity of the Fukuoka Kokusai Center. A telltale sign that Kyusho Basho is just around the corner is that practice reports are starting to roll in. The first of which is about Kiribayama. He is practicing hard in anticipation of an expected Sanyaku debut. The Kyushu Basho Banzuke results won't be published until November 1st. It's more than likely that Kiribayama will be promoted to Sanyaku, and he's training hard in the interim. Kiribayama is one of my co-host Scott's favorite rikishi, and I'm sure he'll have plenty to say if for some reason he does not get that promotion. On the day of the interview, Kiribayama warmed up with Suriyashi, Shiko, Teppo, as well as resistant rubber bands. He then moved on to bouts with lower ranked members of his heya. In all, he did 19 bouts where he practiced different techniques, including thrusts at the tachiai in order to stand up his opponent, his Maimitsu grip, as well as ways to turn around a losing match into a win. In the interview, Kiribayama said, 19 bouts are too few against lower rank opponents. I want to be doing 30 or 40. Do you think the young Mongolian will get that promotion to Komusubi? Leave us a comment and let us know your opinion. In less serious news, Shohozan really hams it up in front of the camera after getting his flu vaccine at the Kokugikan. Being the eldest Sumotori in the salaried ranks, Shohozan, 37, who was born in Fukuoka, wants to do well in the Kyushu Basho for his expected return to Makuchi for what could possibly be his last run at the higher ranks. Ryudin will be back for Kyushu Basho. His rank will likely be in the lower end of Makushita. I'm sure a lot of you know, but for those who don't, he was withdrawn from the May tournament by a stablemaster, who had said he had breached coronavirus compliance guidelines. Ryudin was later suspended for three tournaments retroactive to the May Basho. The compliance committee set up by the Sumo Association to investigate the matter found that on 25 separate occasions between March 12, 2020 and January 20, 2021, he had met with a woman who is not his wife, breaking the rules on unnecessary trips. Ichinojo revealed his Japanese name, Takeshi Miura. Ichinojo took his Oyakata's last name and now he's all set for his new life as a Japanese citizen. We at World of Sumo wish him all the luck. And finally, former Makuchi Rikishi Ryo shared the world's first glance of Magaki Oyakata overseeing practice at Miyagi no Beya on his Instagram. It's a sight I'm sure you will all agree that we look forward to seeing much more of, as the former Yokozuna shapes the future stars of the dojo. Well, that's it for this episode of World of Sumo News. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want, you can even join us on multiple social media platforms. All the links are below in the description box. I'm Mika Grimmer, and thanks for joining us. See you in the next one.